Now, Mr. Hooper, uh, thanks for your time tonight. I can tell you that as an Indian, all of us are extremely worried about what's going to happen to these games, whether India is going to be able to deliver or not. But we're also extremely sad to see them get caught up in politics. How do you see Suresh Kalmani's outburst against you today? Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to say how disappointed I am that he has uh, come out and made these sorts of personal attacks, which I think are totally unnecessary. And to be quite frank, uh, not, substanti not substantiated, uh, I have consistently uh, supported the organising committee as best I can. It is my job to, to, to challenge, to question, to pose, to, to, to assist them in, in what they're doing. Now, I believe I've done that and, and in fact we'd actually be, the, the organising committee would be further behind than they are now had I not been here. I know that sounds a little arrogant, but I don't mean to be, but it's the truth. Now, you know, uh, when you talk about controversies, uh, I think what we should be doing here is not focusing on individuals and personalities, be it myself or Mr. Kalmadi, we should be focusing on the issues, and that is that we have 11 months left to, defend, to deliver an outstanding games in 2010. Your, your, your minister, uh, MS Gill, uh, on, on Monday, uh, openly said that, that, uh, that, that India will deliver, both from the Prime Minister down, will deliver and do whatever is necessary to deliver an outstanding games. I'm sure that that will be the case. What we need to do now, instead of uh, creating unnecessary controversies and personal attacks and things like that, is to focus on the issues. Let's look at what the issues are, let's address them and find solutions collectively. That's what we committed to, this federation committed to, and that's what my president, Michael Fennell, said on Monday to the media. But what happens next, Mr. Hooper? Do you just ignore Suresh Kalmadi, like pretty much calling you useless, telling you to just get lost? Do you just ignore that, look the other way and get on with your work? What are you going to do? Well, certainly I'll be getting on and doing my job. I work for the Commonwealth Games Federation and clearly at the end of the day, it's a matter for my employer where I am based. That said, uh, as, as recently as Sunday, I had the full support and endorsement of my board for the work I have been doing in, in Delhi for the last two years in trying to move things forward. Um, that's both in relation to my own time here and when the Coordination Commission etc has been through. So I don't believe there's been anything different uh, in regard to, to um, Thursday today and, and Sunday. Uh, so I would certainly hope that, that, that my President uh, supports my position uh, and we carry on and get on with the job rather than focusing on uh, spats uh, and personal attacks. Right, so in other words, you're suggesting that uh, basically Suresh Kalmadi has no business and is not empowered to actually ask for you to be recalled. Now, one of the other things that, uh, that Mr. Kalmadi announced today uh, is that they reject the proposal to have an independent monitoring committee for the Commonwealth Games. Are you going to push for this independent monitoring group to, to remain or will you abandon it? I, I think Mr. Fennell made it very clear uh, that the Federation is bringing together an independent technical review committee of experts that I believe should be embraced by the organising committee to assist them and advise them because that's what it's about. It's about what are the, identifying the issues, addressing the issues, finding solutions, not, not sweeping things under the carpet, uh, etc. And, and not addressing them. We must address them. This is, fr this is free consultancy. The Federation is, is offering free consultancy in effect and I do not believe it is, it is for Mr. Kalmadi uh, to outright reject the, 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 uh, the position of the Federation. The, my board has taken a decision. My job as CEO is to implement that decision. And unless I am instructed otherwise, that's exactly what I'll be doing.